Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining, and welcome to this month's Connect with Control M. My name is Sandy Carmeli, and I'm a member of the BMC Customer Support Team, focusing mainly on Control M for distributed systems in Europe. Today, we are going to talk about the Amigo program, which aims to ensure you a successful experience in upgrading to the latest and greatest Control M9 release. We understand that upgrading to Control M can be a little daunting sometimes, which is why we created the Amigo program. We have helped over, over 1,600 customers successfully upgrade and take advantage of the many features Control M has to offer. Today's presentation is intended to help you better understand what is and what the, fen the benefits it offers. Let's start. Before diving into the topics, I would like to introduce today's panelists, Octavio Vasquez and Martin de Canstongrini, who are my fellow members of the Amigo team. I would also like to take the opportunity to remind you that if you have any questions, please feel free to enter them in the Q&A panel. We will ensure to address them towards the end of the session. Finally, you can save this presentation by going to File and Save. In the agenda today we have the Amigo program. What is it? How does it work? We will review our documents together, the upgrade plan, checklist, and sizing calculation, which are provided when opening an Amigo case. Then we will have questions and answers session. Assisting migration operations. What is it? Well, about five years ago, we noticed that upgrading to control them to a new version had become a challenging task, realizing that most of the issues encountered were easy to solve. We figured that creating a streamlined process would simplify the upgrade. Therefore, Amigo is a service we offer to proactively assist you with upgrades to new versions within Control M products. It starts with a notification from you guys, our customers, or your sales representative that you're planning to upgrade. When you decide to upgrade the Control M version, you just simply let us know by opening a case mentioning the Amigo word in it. There are no additional costs involved. It's for current BMC customers upgrading from one BMC Control M version to another, lower to higher. It's effective pre-upgrade recipe for avoiding disasters by filling the gaps in upgrades and preparations. Over the five last years, we have successfully implemented and improved the process, and as a result, we see more and faster upgrades taking place. I think the numbers speak for themselves. So how does it work? Engage by letting us know about the upgrade decision. Plan the steps using the template we designed. Then we review the plan together by going over the steps, making sure all are clear. Testing is the most important part, setting the test environment and performing as many tests as possible in order to make sure that if any issues are found, we can handle them before the production upgrade day. Testing is critical because it also gives us an indication of the time window needed based on your Control M environment data. Don't forget, our goal is to minimize your production downtime and to ensure that the transition to Control M9 is as seamless as possible. Let's go over the phases of the Amigo program. The first phase is called Amigo Starter. In this phase, we already have the Amigo case opened and we send you an article containing all relevant information, the upgrade plan sample, the checklist, and all the upgrade and installation guides for reviewing. In the article, we also have considerations to take into account when upgrading to Control M9. We will set up a conference call to introduce ourselves, review and advise on the upgrade plan, walk through a basic checklist of things to do, along with frequent asked questions. Answer any questions you may have, and we alert you about any fixed spec or hot patches that may be required. We also offer the possibility to perform a sizing calculation according to the load in your Control M environment data. 
The calculation is very useful when planning to acquire new machines for your new Control M9 environment or to make sure it will be able to run properly in your current machines. Once we consider this phase is complete, we will close this case and it's up to you to test the plan as many times as possible to reduce the risk of having issues during the actual production cutover. Now we are in the test phase. If any issues are encountered during this phase, we will open a separate case to handle each one. We do this in order to ensure that each case receives the proper attention. In this phase, you should have all the necessary information in the upgrade plan ready to start testing the upgrade process. Following the plan and adjust it as it go with the test will ensure you are on track and will also provide you with important information and considerations regarding the upgrade process. Trust me, the more accurate the plans and the more you test, the easier the transition will be. When the testing and the plan are complete, we will open another case, which is called the Amigo Review. This case will have attached the upgrade plan and the upgrade dates. Most of the time, the production upgrade occurs outside working hours. Therefore, our on-call technicians will be aware on the date of your production upgrade. They will have reviewed the plan in order to be able to assist you in case of any unexpected issues. As part of the final phase, the Amigo Review will, will set up a new conference call to identify the time frame for the upgrade and the versions involved answer any questions you may have, and schedule a follow-up call to the next week to receive your feedback. During the production upgrade time, if any issues are encountered, you should call the BMC contact center and request to open a critical case. Our on-call person will engage to assist you immediately. After the production upgrade is finished, we will really appreciate your comments. Your feedback is very important to improve our process and ensure our program delivers as best assistance on this process as possible. Let's go over the documents we have. Let's start with the checklist, for example. This is the checklist that you receive in our article when you open an Amigo case. You can fill it in, taking your, for example, the installed versions. You can cut from the installed versions the machine, the fixed spec, and everything, the uh, operating system, and copy it into the plan. Then you can fill in as many things as you consider necessary for your environment. The Amigo checklist is very useful to get the needed steps on a sheet. This will help us understand the current environment you're working and the one that you're heading to. It, will, it also contains the links of the documentation, which is always handy. Please note that these documents are just examples, just skeletons. Therefore, if they don't reflect your environment, you can add or take out any steps as necessary. From previous experiences with customers that use Amigo program, we know that filling this document can really add value to our production upgrade. I remember that one time during a conference call held with the customer in the Amigo starter phase, they were unsure about the upgrading to control and version because they were concerned about the large number of control and agents they have in their environment. They thought they have to update manually the, control and, the new control and server hostname in the configuration of each one. We explained to them that they can form a passive upgrade first, meaning just an export of the control and environment statistic or historical data without bringing any control M components down, not affecting the current production. During, during this action, we'll allow the new control M to have all the agent's information after importing the data in it. And all the agents will have the new control M server registered on them. Or another way to manage this issue we provide is a command that can be used as a script, also in Unix and Windows machines in order to update all the Control M agents with the new Control M server hostname massively. Then we have the Enterprise Manager V9 sample upgrade plan. 
that the Amigo plan, this one, could be the steps that you use as a guide during the actual upgrade. We review this one together and make sure all the steps are clear. Please remember that this template is just an example. You can customize it, customize it as per your business needs. As I mentioned before, it is possible to export the static or historical data during uh, during the not, not touching the production environment, which most of the times are the biggest tables in your Control M database, containing the logs information, statistics, job definitions, and all non-active data. You can perform the import of this static data exported from the production Control M to test the environment in order to test the process. Okay, this is the, the upgrade checklist that we put here from the installed versions. And this is the sample plan where you have all the links of the documentation and the considerations, upgrading to Control MV9. So I was saying that you can, after you import the static or the historical data uh, that you exported from the Control M a production machine into this test environment, you can know how long will it take you and take under consideration the time when the, you will need and the, uh, on the production cutover. The considerations we add in the article here linked here, this one, can also alert you and get you ready to bypass issues that we have already encountered, making the beginning of the experience with Control M9 smooth and reliable. Okay, now that you see my desktop, <laughs> let me show you. This is the size field calculation that we retrieve when you request a size calculation. We send you a template like this that will have all the questions that we need to know about your load in the current Control M environment that you're using at the moment, including the Control M Enterprise Manager and the each data center control M server that you have. Then with that load, with those details, we fill in a sizing calculation and we retrieve this result. This result will have all the load of your current control M environment. And here you will see the perf or the spec value. The perf is uh, regarding the IBM machines which are most of the time written on it, on, on those machines. The spec can uh, be applied for any other machine that is not IBM. So if you don't know the spec of your machine, you can click in this link that you, that you have in this result, and you can go and look here in the rates, and you can see here the base number will be the spec of your machine. So going back to the sizing calculation result, you will see that if the spec machine that I have right now is 57 and my load in Enterprise Manager is 26, it fits inside of it. It, it will be okay, but I will have to take under consideration also additional applications that are running on that machine and the increasing load of the Enterprise Manager and or Control M server along the years or the time using this machine. Uh, this is the same regarding Control M server. And here we have a, another cube which is separated for the workload archiving. The, work ar uh, the workload archiving needs a separate GUI and a database because it's a very busy environment. So it will have its own uh, load and its own spec to take under consideration. Okay. Okay, so we in the Amigo team would like to give you some valuable keys to make your upgrade smooth. We understand that having a detailed plan going over the documentation and considerations, and most of all, testing the process, will provide positive results. 
minimizing your downtime during upgrade migrations by proactively working through issues before they occur, working closely with sales and software consulting to identify issues also, reinforcing our relationships and providing new offerings to make your upgrade easier, bringing you opportunities for new features and add-ons. We think the Amigo is a win-win situation for all customers, sales, services, development, and support. As mentioned at the beginning of this session, your feedback is very important to us. Let me share some of the feedback and the, and the comments we received from customers that use our Amigo programs already. Uh, they say, one of them said to us that was very helpful. Many of the pre-upgrade steps help to better prepare. Another customer applied that the new Amigo process was the most helpful support when planning and commencing the, the upgrade efforts. And another one shared with us that they, compared to other companies, BMC is making the migration process very easy and is head and shoulders about others in this process. Thank you very much for taking your time out of the day and to attend this session. I hope the information provided was useful. You will be receiving a survey as you close the webinar. We encourage you to fill it out and provide us with ideas and improvement of any future topics you would like to learn about. You can follow us in Facebook and Twitter. Our past webinars can be seen in our BMC communities, YouTube, and iTunes. Today's webinars will be posted there in a couple of days. The next webinar will be Control M9 High Availability. I would like you to visit our communities if you have time. We publish the list of articles that are used the most every month. If you take a close look, you can see the Amigo introduction article is starting at this list.